In the last hour, President Biden finished addressing the nation following a critical NATO summit. This high stakes press conference was a chance for Biden to change the narrative around his poor performance during last month's debate. Over the last few weeks, members of his own party have questioned if he is fit to lead and have called for him to step aside. Even before the press conference began, the president confused the president of Ukraine with the president of Russia. But he did manage to quickly correct himself. Take a listen. I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> president Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. And during the first question, the president misspoke again, confusing Vice President Kamala Harris with former President Donald Trump. Wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president, but I think she was not qualified to be president. And the president did address concerns of his cognitive abilities. I've taken three significant and intense neurological exams by, the neuro by a neurologist. In each case, as recently as February. And they say, I'm in good shape. President Biden and Trump are set to debate again in September.